And I am in a talk and you're a Do I have to? If you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss our uploads. So again, hit that like button, guys. Okay, so the reason why I decided to paint in this room is because I noticed a lot of cracks on the wall and I was trying to help figure out what was causing all these cracks. I know the sun does set on this particular side of the house, but they couldn't see all the cracks and stuff that I was talking about. But I decided to paint the room so it would show up more in paint because everybody know that things pops up more clearer when you paint a wall. So I painted it so that they can see all the cracks. Tip guys, whenever your mason or whoever is doing your rendering is going to render your wall, please have them soak that wall. The wall needs to be wet properly and the mixture needs to be correct. Can't be too rich and it cannot be too poor else you're going to have problems with cracks in your wall especially if they don't soak the wall properly and it's a wall that sun sits on so make sure you talk to your mason about that the next thing is when they come back in and decide to hack up your wall because they did not call like the electrician in and let them know you're going to be doing something it will show in your final paint job mm -hmm. So make sure everything is done to the wall before your final rendering or your rough cast. So, so far we have the kitchen painted ready. The only thing needed to be done in the kitchen now is the tiling. So everything that you see that's left undone in the kitchen is for tiling purposes and the doors. So windows are in. We finished the wall. We didn't do the ceiling as yet because we would have to go take back down all the pot lights. And so it's in the process of getting done. So once the ceiling is finished painting, then the tiling is going to start. So you might be wondering why do we put the pot lights in before we paint it? It's because we were having a function and we wanted the lights so that we could use that room. As I said, we already started enjoying our dream home. We have used it for many purposes already. And we're so glad that we're enjoying it even before it's completed. And there's Kevin and the kids removing all the loose stone from around the yard. Because the kids tend to play around here more. And there's lots of loose um, stones and I found that they were twisting their foot or tripping over them. So there they are collecting anyone, any stone that's in their path that they run and play in so that we can minimize any trip to the hospital because I do not wish to go to the hospital. We will be doing a auto series and a how much it costs series in building my dream home so stay tuned look out for them we might run them together or we might run them after each other so we're not sure yet but again it will be how to build your dream home while living overseas or how much does it cost to build your dream home so we'll be breaking some stuff down for people to get a better understanding of how much it costs and the steps needed and how to get it done in a timely manner without breaking your pocket so stay tuned for those series that are going to be upcoming again they might run back to back each other or it will be one after the other we're not sure 
Thank you all for watching. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Until then, see you next time.